Minha de I just had to come give another word tonight because, you know, I just need everybody to know that God is not going to allow nothing on us that we cannot handle. He's not going to allow nothing to come near us that we cannot handle. You know, with price increase, everything that's going on in the world, God, I mean, with food increases, rent increases, everything is increasing, prices increasing, jobs not paying enough. God is not going to allow all this to happen and not have an escape route or not have that ram in the bush. So you got to understand, even though everything is going out of whack, for us just believe that our father is behind the scenes been working before we even thought about it before it, it even began to happen our father has been behind the scenes working on behalf of us so you know i don't know if y'all remember when the pandemic nobody knew that everything was about to shut down in the world nobody knew that everybody was going to get laid off their job but god knew and god even made a way in that for everybody to get unemployment like god knows everything that's going on in the world so don't worry yourself when you are you know faced with issues or the rents going up you know even if you have to downsize even if you have to move to somewhere that you can afford even with the food going up god tells us in his word don't worry about what you would eat for tomorrow only worry about today you got to focus on today even with you know just prices increasing on everything god said stop worrying about tomorrow tomorrow has its own worries we got to worry about today because tomorrow is not promised for any anybody meanwhile you out here worried about oh what's gonna happen tomorrow and you know today ain't even got bad here we are we got our problems today y'all not even focusing on how i'm gonna come up with this solution or how god is gonna come up with this solution for today do not focus on the issue at hand, see, because that's what the enemy wants you to do. When the enemy has you worried about what's going to happen tomorrow or I got this thing due tomorrow or how I'm going to deal with this thing tomorrow, that's when the enemy got you because you missing the goodness of God in today. So don't miss the goodness of God in today. Focus on tomorrow. Worry about today. Look at today. Be thankful for today because today, what the Bible says, that this is the day that the Lord has made for I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will not rejoice and worry in it. I will not rejoice and be sad in it. But the Bible says rejoice and be glad in it. Let tomorrow be tomorrow. Whatever got to go on tomorrow, whatever is due tomorrow, we're going to worry about that tomorrow. We're not going to focus on our issues for tomorrow today because God loves us. He's not going to let nothing happen to us that we cannot handle. He's not going to allow anything to come on us that, you know, he doesn't already have a plan for. And just think, even if something does come up on us, just God is always there just to give us a lesson. Just like Job, God is always there to give us a lesson, a teaching, a chastising, an understanding. He's there to pour wisdom, there to give us discernment because sometimes it's through those times that through our battles and through our challenges, through our tribulations, that God is able to give us wisdom, that God is able to, you know, show us what true discernment is about, you know, so stop worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. Stop worrying about that. Oh, today is not working. What am I going to do? You know, keep your focus and your eyes on God and focus on what's in today. The Bible once again tells us, for this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall, not we will, maybe, sometimes we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God said it's better for you to rejoice and be glad in today because we never know what could come on us tomorrow. Because I even heard that song, uh, I don't know his name, but um, he sings that song, um, I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But he even said, my good days outweigh my bad. And the only way your good days can outweigh your bad is 
focus on today. Rejoice in today. Be glad in today. That is how your good days are going to outweigh your bad because when you are in a place of being thankful for today, your good days will always outweigh your bad for having that thankful heart, for having that mindset that know that I have God. I'm thankful that I have God. I'm thankful that I have a rock that I could go to. I'm thankful that I have a being who will pour into me, a spirit that will pour into my spirit, renew me, renew my mind, help me up help restore me back to you know that peaceful place and you know a lot of times I find myself daydreaming and it's so funny because every time I'm sitting daydreaming someone walks up to me asks me what's wrong and it's like it's nothing wrong it's actually my place of peace like when I be stuck I could find myself just being stuck like and it's just a place of peace, just not having nothing on my mind, just not worrying about nothing, just rejoicing in the moment, just sitting and basking in the moment of just not having worries. Because I remember days when I worried a lot. I remember days when I had so much on my mind and I couldn't even understand God, how I'm going to get through this, how I'm going to do this. Headaches, couldn't even get around those headaches, popping pills every day, Tylenols. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. I got to let y'all know that. No, I I never pop a pill, but just popping Tylenols all day trying to get rid of the headache and the headache never going away because I'm worried. It's not the fact that I was sick. It's not the fact that I had nothing, you know, going on with my body, but I'm worried and worrying cause sickness in the body. So I say today, rejoice in today and stop worrying yourself about the problems tomorrow. God already has a plan for you. God already has it worked out for you. He's going to fix it. He's going to work it in his timing, in his way. But see, you too busy trying to do it your way. God said, I got you. I got you. God says, I got you. Be still and know that I am God. Once we can get to a place of being still and know that God is who he is, I'm telling you, life begins to flow and life begins to work out in a way that we can never understand. Because if God before us, nothing could stand against us. If God is before us, nothing will ever stand against us. And we have to stand on that. So I'm going to tell you all today, rejoice. For this is the day that the Lord has made. For we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We will not worry. We will not faint. We will not be discouraged. And be, we will have faith that God is with us and God is for us. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. As long as he, we have him. long as you know we stay connected to him. God is going to always see a way out for us. And that's the goodness of having God, having that stronghold, having that rock that we're able to go to, to minister to us, to fight for us, to battle for us, to war for us. So I just say to you today, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in this day. Don't live your life worried about not being able to handle it. Don't live your life dealing with the battles that you're facing, the problems that you're facing. Because I'm telling you, once it's over, you're going to look back over it, look at it and be like, wow, I spent so much time worrying about that thing for it to work out in this way. And you're just going to feel so defeated. And God going to take you through that test again just so he can say, now, okay, I, you see me do it the first time. Now I need you. I need to see where your faith is at with it. You see me do it the first time. You see me do it about five times, even more times in your life. I just need to see your faith in the situation. And a lot of times that's why we keep going through these cycles because God said, I just want to see your stance. I want to see your face, faith. I want to see how much you actually trust me. So he'll keep taking you through the same thing, taking you through the same issues just to see where your faith is at in it. So I say this word to you today. For this is the day that the Lord has made for we, we shall rejoice and be glad. God bless you. I'm praying for you, praying for your peace, praying that your mind is healed, praying that your heart is renewed, praying that you have a heart of forgiveness, praying that you don't allow people to get you in a, such an emotional place that, you know, you're hurting so bad. You're so discouraged. You can't forgive this person because if you love God more than you love yourself, 
everything will work out for your good. So I say God bless you and talk to you later. Goodbye.